Hey, this is Enrico from JBA University. I'm here at the Genelec Experience Center in Natick, Massachusetts with Paul Stewart. And we have a new speaker. This is the 8381. It's mighty, isn't it? it I mean, it's what, as tall as me, taller than me, yeah. <laughs> something like we that. We do have uh, the accessory pedestal for it. That's what it's sitting on right now. Oh, so, so it's on option. left. It's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But if you have a large format console, this might be an option that you might want. The other accessory that's in it is this four degree little um, wedge that we have here to give it a tilt here for the top part of the speaker. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a higher degree as well that you can get, or you can just have it flat. You said um, when we were talking earlier, the other option is an eight degree. Correct. Right? Yes. Cool. Yeah. So what we have for configuration in here, the, the base unit has two 15 inch base drivers on either side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that unit is um, powered by that uh, amplifier down there or that I should say control everything because that has the crossovers, all the electronics in it. So Got we have it. two units for this entire system. And then we have uh, a single 15 on the top cabinet as well. Mm -hmm. So from here to here, we have to uh, determine a crossover point. The GLM, our, our calibration software, determines based on the room. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then we have these four five-inch mid drivers around here. Mm -hmm. So here's another crossover point. So these will take over uh, above this driver. And then in the middle here, we've got another coaxial uh, four-inch mid driver with the high compression tweeter. Wow, it's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, so the model name is an 8381. That is correct. That's kind of how you name the one stuff. Like how do we get from the ones to here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very interesting, right? Yeah. Well, I think the ones comes in because it comes into play about the point source uh, directivity of all of our one speakers. And as you can see here, we do have the coaxial design up in here in the upper part of the cabinet. Mm -hmm. But it is a freestanding main monitor. So I guess you could say it sort of bridges between that main monitor and our ones. So it's, it's both line. series. It's <laughs> both series all wrapped into one. I mean, it kind of lo looks like, you know, they took the woofer stand, took a one, put it together and gave it some kind of like Popeye spinach or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right. That's exactly where it comes from. I mean, it, there's no doubt that uh, by making this product that brought that technology into this. How did you get from, like, how, how did we get to four and a corner? Like, what, what was the thought process behind that design? Boy, I wish I could tell you because I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> but I do see the brilliance in it. I mean, you can't deny that that is a very unique way of doing it. But it also, as you know, you've had a chance to hear them in the room. How would you describe what you heard? I mean, you could hear, I don't know, that track we listened to, like, I could tell that the reverb was like a digital reverb. Like that, you know, that probably came out of some like old Yamaha or maybe a Bercassi unit, but something like, it's like, wow, that actually sounds like digital reverb. And I could tell the difference for once. Like it was, I don't know, it's hard to describe. There's just a ton more detail. And it's, I, I don't know, like I own 8331s. I love the 50 ones. This just seemed like more of that. It's, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I, I think, you know, I think, but you're saying it correctly. And, and it does lend itself. You can see where because of that clinical kind of listening. I mean, this could be great as a mastering main monitor, but it also can work as a main monitor or uh, whatever mixing uh, monitor that you you work from, mm -hmm. uh, from, you know, whatever that listening distance needs to be. And in this case- I mean, case, these, these are near fields, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can probably sit closer to this than you can most freestanding main monitors, mm -hmm. but it is a big speaker. So, you know, taking that into consideration. Nice. Um, you had also mentioned earlier when we were doing our listening demo that mm -hmm. you guys come out and you help tune the room. Oh, absolutely. That's a part of the process. There's no way we could let one of these go with just say, hey, good luck, read the manual. <laughs> no, we have to be a part of this. This is too big of an investment for our customers to uh, to get into without our, our support. That's awesome for you guys to do that. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything else to t ask Paul, so I'm going to sign off here. So thanks for watching JBA University. I've been Enrico. This has been Paul. If you have any questions, you can check out Genelec.com. You can go to JohnBAnthony.com and reach out to us if you also want to chat with us. But thanks for stopping by, guys. Or, schedule a, or schedule a demo, right? Or schedule a demo. Come up, come up to Massachusetts <laughs> and hear these in person.
See you guys. Take care.